So now I have a nice outline for an introduction section, and much more than an outline. I actually have a very decent introduction section once I add the references. Now quickly, before I save it as the final draft, I'll quickly go through the language recommendations to see whether there are any language issues. So you click on the language tab. All right, there are some language suggestions. Climate change is a major concern that has intensified. It seems decent. Yep, I'm going to accept it. Punctuation. Climate change is OK, so punctuation is not needed there. So yes, the original text was incorrect in terms of punctuation. I have accepted that suggestion as well. Extreme weather events, like so rephrase. I like such as it sounds a bit more formal, so that is good. Article usage. These events can have long term impacts on the affected communities. All right, that seems a very good change, a grammatical change. I'm going to accept that as well. Rephrase. Lack of understanding, knowledge gap hinders the development of, hinders effective mitigation and strategies. Well, that is good, that makes sense. Development of strategies. All right. The study asks the following question, asks the following research. Well, that is correct because the study has already been completed and this makes sense. This study asks, All right, effect effects. This read codes on those effects on these impacts. This is also correct. The aim of this research. Oh, very good change. Past tense. Okay, that seems good to go. All right, there's one more suggestion. How can we mitigate and adapt to these effects? How can we how can these effects be mitigated? These effects be mitigated. No, I'm going to reject that change because I also need to say how adapt mitigates and adapts. So I will not accept that change. And it looks good. Uh, 